a YouTube Leo Pot, so you know what it is. That's the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today's going to be a video on a new client of mine. I'm just heading down to the city right now. You can see here in the video. And um, basically, it's a new client. He has a Marine Land 60 gallon uh, reef tank that he has set up, and he doesn't have a sump filtration. Uh, you can see here in the video that we just arrived, uh, there's no sump filtration, and that's what I came here to install today is to have a sump filtration. The tank is drilled here from the bottom of the tank with two uh, bulkheads at uh, one inch. Uh, he has a uh, aqua illumination LED aquarium light right here great for corals very beautiful light uh, there's the overflow box just a brief look at it so here's a 24 by 24 60 gallon tank guys and um, it's a saltwater coral reef tank here's uh, a wood stand inside the stand here we want to place the this sump here it's an approximate uh, 20 inch sump with uh, three chambers so uh, for us to do that guys um, we got to basically uh, connect these two bulkheads right here into the sump. One of them is going to be the drain, one of them is going to be the return. So for us to do that, we got to drain the tank here. We're going to drain the tank about three quarters of the way of water. Uh, pull it away from the back wall because the uh, stand or the sump will not fit inside the stand uh, from the front door here. So we got to basically uh, empty out three quarters of the water. We're going to save that water, put it back inside the tank. And um, from there we can pull apart or pull uh, the stand away from the wall and we can insert the sump here like we have here in this part so you can see I've already started to connect the uh, the uh, the return pump this is a submergible return pump it's in the yeah uh, it's an eheim and basically I have it connected here via some uh, PVC uh, fittings as well as some tubing and a valve so that's going to be sitting in the last uh, the last chamber inside the sump now we got to basically uh, to get connected is the drain Okay, you can see here in the sump filtration underneath the stand, we got the sump installed as well as the return and the drain. We're starting to fill up uh, the sump via the overflow box. We're just filling up the tank back with water via the overflow box and it's coming down here through the drain. And uh, we're just testing for leaks at the same time through the drain. So it's filling up the sump, the first two chambers you can see here onto the left. And then from there, um, it's going to be basically uh, overflow that last uh, glass baffle that you can see right there over into the pump section. So once uh, we fill this up and got the tank back full, we're going to turn on the pump and uh, see how it looks underneath pressure. So there you go, we got the pump uh, back in action plugged in. We got the uh, sump actually uh, working right now. The drain is draining the water and the pump is pumping the water back up to the tank. Uh, the valve is fully open. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, this pump it looks like we could have uh, used a little bit more of a stronger pump so that's something that my client might look into in the near future but for now this is uh, what we uh, rigged up in his uh, sump filtration before he was just running a Deltic uh, skimmer Deltic 400 skimmer that uh, hang on the back of the the tank on the display tank now we basically accommodated that uh, to be into the sump and now that skimmer um, <clears throat> is in the sump in the stand so the top uh, the display tank is looking a little bit more cleaner uh, right now we're just going through some of the settings um, you're showing me the settings of the aqua illumination LED lighting here of the daytime lighting nighttime lighting and just the effects uh, a little bit of more green more red more blue so it's quite nice light it does uh, it is quite powerful we're looking forward in the near future to mounting this with the mounting uh, hardware that he's going to be picking up shortly so uh, stay tuned for that as well and um, We'll be doing that in the near future, mounting the uh, aqua illumination lighting with the uh, proper mounting. Right now we just have it resting on top of the tank with uh, just a glass lid, uh, just sitting on some cedar shims temporarily. Okay, now that we got the skimmer inserted inside the sump and uh, working, let's have a look at that. So here's the uh, Delta 400 skimmer. It's a submergible skimmer. Uh, hangs on the back or actually inside the water, so that's quite nice. Uh, so it worked out nice for us. We squeezed it in there with just enough room. So that skimmer's uh, fitting inside the last chamber, which is the uh, return pump chamber. Um, I'm not too happy with it sitting in the return pump chamber with the uh, bubbles that possibly that it may give off. But for the most part, I don't see many bubbles at all right now that the skimmer is giving outside uh, of its uh, outtake so uh, for the most part it looks like we should be okay so guys here's the tank uh, we got the lights on daytime lights I uh, say thank you very much for watching the video guys it's a 60 gallon saltwater tank now running with the sump filter
filtration system uh, now with that sound filtration you can hide uh, you know any any equipment that would be normally in your top display tank and uh, you can have it down inside your sump such as heaters and uh, your skimmer as you saw there and basically just a nice cleaner setup and you'll have a better filtration system in my opinion with the sump so guys thanks very much for watching leo pot so you know what it is stay tuned subscribe if you haven't subscribed like share comment let me know what you guys think all right guys leo pot so you know what it is till next time